What is going on guys? Today we are going to be doing a little bit of uh, golf course pond fishing. Something I haven't done in quite some time since I was a small child. Uh, actually not probably that long ago, but I haven't done it in a long time. I am with Ryan from Hook and Hogs TV. We're going to be hooking hogs on TV today. We're going to be doing a one hour golf course challenge. He's got permission to fish this golf course for one hour today. And uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a challenge. We're going to be doing an MTB Pro fishing challenge for the month of April. We're both going to town baits out of this box. And those are the only baits that we're going to use today. And we're going to hopefully see if we can catch some fish. Uh, it's going to be good, hopefully. It, it's warmed up. You know, it was cold this morning. Fishing wasn't that great. But this afternoon should be a lot better. Before before we get headed out to the pond, though, I got to do an official MTB Pro unboxing. This wouldn't be an official MTB video without an official MTB Pro unboxing. So right here, we've got the old April mystery tackle box. We're going to take a, a quick look inside. I'm not going to go too in-depth in these baits uh, because obviously I'm going to be fishing with them. And I want to get moving on with the fishing portion of the video, which is probably why you guys clicked on it. But I want to go through all the baits and show you guys what every every bait that came in this this month's box. Also, if you want to order a mystery tackle box for yourself for the very first time, use promo code FLAIR. You get 10 bucks off your very first box. So please use promo code FLAIR if you guys want to try it out. 10 bucks off, get it. First bait, we've got a uh, Ima square bill. Ima, Ima, not exactly sure, but it's a little bit of a, a red square bill, which I like. Red in the spring is always a very good color. For some reason, that's the only time I really throw red, and it, it just seems to work a lot. Next bait, we've got a Zorro Bait Company spinner bait. Spinner bait is a staple in everybody's bass fishing box. Definitely going to catch fish on this today. Hands down, no doubt, for sure. For sure going to catch some bass. Next. We've got a Strike Pro Ultimate Casting Suspending Jerkbait. It's white, got a little pinkish orange belly to the bottom of it. This jerkbait's actually gonna, probably gonna come into play today. Hopefully there's not too many weeds uh, because the cold front rolled through this morning. And uh, anytime the fish are kind of finicky, cold front runs in, a suspending jerkbait presents a nice, easy meal for cold water bass. So I'm hoping that we can catch some fish on that. Next bait, we've got a, uh, a little bit of a top order. This is a tungsten weighted Matsuo top water it's like it looks like a little popper it looks kind of interesting it's real small and so i'm definitely going to be throwing it on like spinning gear and stuff like that but if uh if the water is warm enough they should eat this tonight hopefully i would love to catch some fish on top water and then two more two more baits in this box we got soft plastics we've got some uh catch co pro series finesse worms for sure this is probably going to be the number one bait i'm not exactly sure i don't want to i don't want to hype anything up this is probably gonna be the number one bait for tonight a little finesse worm like this works super, super well. It's got, it's like a green pumpkin orange. And it gets real thin here and then a nice ball there. And what that does is that just kind of wiggles like that on top of a shaky head. Um, you could Texas rig this, whatever you want to do. I'll probably rig it up on a shaky head and uh, probably catch some fish. Hopefully, hopefully catch some fish. I'm talking really fast. Lastly, we've got a Cabin Creek 6-inch salty lizard and smoked pepper chartreuse. Lizards. Lizards are one thing that I don't really ever throw that often, except during the spawn, which is actually surprisingly right now, uh, which makes sense why Mystery Tackle Box put it in their box. Because for some reason, for some reason, if this little dude gets on the bed of a bass, if the bass laid its eggs and it's guarding its fry, whatever, and uh, you throw this dude on the bed, for some reason they freak the heck out. They think it's it's eating the eggs. They I don't know. They lose their mind. For some reason, lizards absolutely destroy during the spawn. So that's good. That's good. That's a good bait. You can sign up for MTB alerts. Text catch to seven seven four five three. We've got a fish on sticker right there. You know, add to the uh, add to the old John boat. Make sure it's all pretty and wrapped. And then we've got this is what was inside the box. It's got all the. Uh, all the prices for everything that I just pulled out. And last but not least, we have the Dibbles Digest. This is like a little bit of a magazine that has a lot of helpful articles on how to catch fish. So that's all I've got. There's nothing left in here. Great box filled with lots of fish catching lures, especially for the spring. This is just like a, an all around good spring box. We're gonna catch some fish today. You excited? Yup. Yep, he's excited. Let's do this. 20 minutes later. We made it to the pond. I've got a spinner bait, jerk bait, and the finesse worm on. Ryan's going to throw the lizard and uh, square bill crankbait. We're going to see if we can complete the MTB slam, or at least catch some fish on some of these baits. We're starting off with the spinner bait. Ryan said there's some toads in here, so we're hoping for some big fish. Or there's a fish on a bed. I'm going to throw this little shaky head in there and see if I can get him to bite. Oh, he's, he's eyeing it. This bedfish won't bite a uh, shaky head, so this seems kind of unconventional, a jerk bait, I know. And I'm not going to snag it, I promise, I'm not going to try to snag this fish. But uh, Scott Martin showed me this when I was uh, fishing with him a couple weeks ago. 
a little jerk bait for like some reason a suspending jerk bait like a wake bait um i don't know if it's gonna work but i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a shot first first fish there you go giant giant that's on the uh on the old lizard yep on the old all right one. it'll get it just has to grab that back treble and i'm gonna catch him I'll catch him. Come on, fish. Got him, got him. Oh, I <laughs> got him. He got, he, look at him. He bit, he bit the back treble. See, that's how you catch some spawning fish right there, boys. Oh, yeah, jerk bait. I didn't snag him. This is proof. I promise I did not snag this fish. He, uh, ow, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, ooh. okay, all right. Yep, Whoa. that's good. You got you good? See that is not, that right there. That's not how you uh, hook a unhook a jerkbait fish. That was very close. All right, you want to pull it out? Yeah. Thank you. All right, that could have been really, really bad. Really, 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 really bad. I thought it was in. Oh, I thought for sure it was in. That was terrible. Oh, I'm bleeding like a mother though. Really? Yeah. He, look at he cut he cut my hand Ooh, up. Dang. Look at all that, all the trebles. All right, guys. Lesson number one of uh, jerkbait fishing: don't do what I just did. You might get cut up, but. There's a little spawning bass. Caught him on the jerk bait and I did not snag him. You just gotta entice him a little bit with the jerk bait. That's uh, bass number one for me. See, buddy? It's about 15 minutes. So, lure number two is complete. I caught a spawning fish with a jerk bait. Like I said, it's not conventional at all, but you know, if, if the fish are just kind of pecking at your bait, some with treble hooks. Oh, Ryan's got one. What's that, on the square bill? Yeah. Oh, that red square bill. Well, that's a good one. Is it a good one? Yeah. Is it a big fish? Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, look at that little red crank bait. There you go, bud. All right, that is lure number three. Don't hook yourself like me. See, he, Ryan's smart. He actually lips the fish instead of uh, grabs onto the jerk bait. Good fish, dude. All right, that is uh, fish number three. There you go, bud. There's, oh no. You got one? Oh, oh God, Ryan got another one. What was that on the spinner bait? Yeah. Spinner bait, Ryan is kicking butt with this MTB challenge, man. There you go, he's got three, I think I have one. Spinnerbait, nice dude, that is. On the giant spinnerbait. That is on the, uh, the big old spinnerbait. The bed right there. Is there one on the bed? See them, see oh yeah, there's two of them. Let's see if I can catch them on this worm. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yep, got him, got him, got him, got him. Shake it, oh he's a big one. Oh, it's a huge fish. <laughs> Look at that little guy. I thought you said there were toads in this lake. What's wrong with you? Nope, no biggins? Nope. Just a little squeak, squeak McGee's. All right, that is on the, the old MTB shaky head. See you, buddy. All right, well, we've got all of them except for the top water. So I'm gonna run back, grab that top water. Obviously, we don't have a ton of daylight left. I don't know, it, the water's probably too cold for top water, but hey, I've caught fish on, me and Ryan, I should say, I've caught fish on every bait except the top water. We're gonna give it a shot. All right, last bait of the day. Gosh, this thing's so small. I'd probably catch a little guy on it. Who knows, maybe I'll catch a six pounder, but let's see, look at the little gills, gills flared out on there. Sweet. All right, we'll see if this does any damage. Got a little spinning rod. I feel like I'm going for after smallmouth, like a little pop bar. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be fun. There's one. Oh, it came off, I had one. Oh man, I had one, son of a gun. He came completely out of the water. That actually was a decent fish, like a solid one and a half. That sounds like it's bad to say it's decent, but so far this pond has only proven itself to have a little dinks. That's a good sign though, all right. I missed, missed the hook set on the first one, but that's a good, very good sign. Oh, I just had one. I just had one miss it. Come on, hit it again, buddy, hit it again. Oh, he missed it again. God dang it. What's wrong with these fish? I'm gonna catch one right here. This is it. This is the cast, ladies and gentlemen. Pop, pop, let it sit. Pop, pop, let it sit. Come on, fish. Hit it again. There he goes. You got it? He missed it. How? How? How do you miss? How do you miss a bait that has six hooks? Someone please answer this question. I'm, I'm not even like setting the hook. I'm, they're just literally missing it.
There's one. There's one. Yes. Topwater fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on, buddy. He's a decent one, too. Topwater fish. Oh, he's just a little guy, but he just kind of got foul hooked. There we go. There it is right there. A little topwater bass. Barely hooked. That completes the mystery tackle box. Slam. That little topwater got him. All right, Chandler. See you later, bud. Heck yeah. Ryan, how many fish did you catch? Uh, I caught about eight. There was a lot on that square bill. Eight? I think I caught like three or four. He did pretty good. He uh, got some on, well, he got him on everything. Spinnerbait. We completed the mystery tackle box slam. We even got the topwater and jerkbait fish, which were the two I was worried about because one, jerkbait fishing in the spawn isn't an ideal bait. Although I caught one, it's not conventional because sometimes you can foul hook them, which I didn't, thankfully. Sometimes you can. And uh, topwater, kind of surprised. I didn't think that the water was going to be warm enough for the uh, topwater fish to hit, but they, it was. Had lots of hits. We are leaving. I'm gonna hit the lake in the morning. Probably gonna get up around like 4.30 or so and see if I can catch some fish on a lake. If you guys want to, you can go subscribe to Hook and Hogs TV. Link will be down below. Kid can catch some fish. Yep. Also again, promo code Flare. 10 bucks off your first mystery tack box. It was a good day out on the water though. Shout out to Ryan, putting me on the, uh, the old golf course pond juice. I hadn't fished a golf course in a long time, so it's kind of fun. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna take off. We're gonna leave. I'm gonna go home. I gotta get, get rigged up for tomorrow. Gotta do some editing. Hope you guys really did enjoy this video. It was something different. I wanted to mix it up for this video, and uh, you know, kind of do a one-hour challenge. It was definitely a challenge. We uh, we caught the last fish right when it was getting dark. A couple days left for the Flare Gear and April 30th. Any apparel purchase on the Flare Gear website, you get entered to win a $250 favorite rod. Any any purchase on the on any apparel purchase on the website ends April 30th. Couple days left. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help. I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time. Then I just been living online. My city don't show me no love, and that's fine.